Good morning, everybody. How are you feeling today? to be here with you all today. My name is Kelsey Jones and I'm a reporter with WTKR News 3. I don't take being at this podium here for granted. Being a Newport News native, this is huge for our community. If you're from here, you know that we wear the 757 on our chest. So this is huge today as we honor a Peninsula legend, Island Iron. You may call it a mobile show. <laughs> but I can feel the energy in the room. Y'all are excited. Let's just give yourself a round of applause for being here today and showing love and support for one of our own. Now, as I mentioned, born and raised right here in Newport News, I know too well about just the talent that the city holds. So I promise you all that we're going to have some fun today as we honor Alan Iverson. We have some folks in this room who have played an instrumental part in his life and career. We have city and state leaders here, and we also have some celebrity guests. But before we get into our program, can we please just silence our cell phones? We don't want any distractions during this ceremony. And we don't have to turn them off, just like so. Now, with that being said, let's welcome New Purdue's Mayor, Philip Jones, to the podium. How's everyone doing today? Well, look, good morning. For those who don't know me, I'm Mayor Philip Jones, Mayor of the City of New Purdue's. Welcome to this exciting and historic day for Newport News, right? Yeah. At this time, I would ask you to please join me in welcoming the family of our guest of honor. I know that we have several members of the Iverson family here. I know we have family, extended family cousins. So everyone the family of AI, just please stand up. Please stand up. Additionally, let me welcome and introduce you to our distinguished visitors on stage with me, Governor Glenn Youngkin. Our hometown Congressman Bobby Scott. James Poo Johnson. Marcella Spencer Boo Williams. And Mike Goings, Philadelphia 76ers, Vice President, Social Responsibility and Fan Development. And as a politician, I know I've recognized all of the distinguished guests. There are too many of you to recognize, but I do want to give our elected official, please stand. There's probably 40 of you. So we just please stand. Special shout out, of course, to Newport News City Council and the uh, school board chair, Lisa, who's my counterpart on the school board. We really do appreciate you, and we'll see you tonight for Save the City. And of course, we cannot forget the man of the hour, Alan Bubba Chuck, AI, the answer, Iverson. exciting for me to once again meet a man who has made his mark on the world, but never forgot home. I and by I, I mean we, Newport News City Council, we are honored to name a street after him and to recognize him for the amazing athlete that he is. I love being mayor. It's the best job I ever had, but I heard governor's pretty fun too. <laughs>
Just one week ago today, the City Council authorized the naming of a portion of 16th Street from Wickham Avenue to Walnut Avenue as Allen Iverson Way. I really wish the weather had cooperated with us today because Allen Iverson Way is a beautiful spot with gorgeous views of the water. I realize that AI was born in Hampton, but he has become an honorary son of Newport News, and Al Iverson Way along 16th Street serves as one of the main access points to the Stewart Gardens community where Alan for most of his young years. During his junior year, AI led Hampton's Bethel High School Bruins state championships in football and basketball. Double double. Then he went on to establish an extraordinary college career at Georgetown and became one of the greatest NBA players of all time. Which was solidified by his induction into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Practice? We talk about practice? We need to! We'll hear more about that during today's program from other speakers. Thank you again to all of you who came here to celebrate our hometown hero. Thank you. Okay, I hope that we keep the excitement going. Y'all are pumped up if you're here this morning. Next up, we have our Newport News native and former voice contestant, Jonathan Holmes, that will lead us in our national anthem. Jonathan? Can I get all, everybody to stand and fellas, could you please remove your hats? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the
Governor Glenn Youngkin here who would share some remarks. Let's give him a round of applause. tonight goes extremely well because the city is doing great under your leadership. So, yeah. Congressman Bobby Scott, thank you. You understand what it means to support this amazing community. Thank you for your leadership. And we see so many extraordinary coaches and sports legends here. And I want to start with Pooh Johnson. Pooh. Yeah. here is unbelievable. Mike started working for the 76ers when he was 21 years old. He's been there for 19 years. Thank you for being here. And I got to have a special welcome for a friend of mine, Boo Williams. Come on, Boo. Let me tell you one special story about Boo Williams. See, AI and I have something in common. We have a common coach, and that's Boo Williams. That is Boo Williams. I got a college scholarship because of Boo Williams. And let me tell you, that's about where my basketball career and AI's basketball career were the same, because I got to end it a little bit after that. But that is what Boo has done for this community and this nation, is he helps Young people find their dreams. And so, Boo, thank you for helping me find mine. <laughs> this icons from the music industry here, I'll leave that for someone else. But what we're here to do is honor a legend. Yeah. Truly a legend. Yeah. And let's just start with the fact that there's not many people in this world who are named for the Virginia Basketball Player of the Year. I don't know of anybody that's been the Virginia Basketball and Football Player of the Year in the same year. How about this? He goes to Georgetown and he is Rookie of the Year in the Big East and he wins two Big East Defensive Player of the Year award. Not a lot of people know that the guy will D you up. He will get in your grill. NBA Rookie of the Year. 11-time NBA All-Star, two-time NBA All-Star Game MVP, NBA MVP. This guy is a legend. He will break your knees. He will pull up for threes. He will stop, pop, and then hip-hop. He will, in fact, cross you up and then D you up. He will stare you down and then he will throw down. This man is a legend. Yeah. 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 What I love most about Alan Iverson is that he came home. What does it mean to come home? It means that you demonstrate to everybody that Newport News rocks. Yeah. You demonstrate to everybody that coming home matters. You demonstrate to everybody that you can invest in your community and you can give back. You demonstrate to everybody that dreams come true and then you go back to where those dreams were born. What it means is that you invest. Hey, I thank you. Thank you for investing in your home. Thank you. What it also means is that there are kids all over Newport News, the Peninsula, Hampton Roads, Virginia, and the country who see you and dream again. 
And so thank you for not just chasing your dreams, but unlocking dreams for thousands and thousands and thousands of kids. That's what it's about. Now, I know being mayor of Newport News is a fine job, but being governor is pretty cool, too. <laughs> and one of the things I get to do as governor is I get to, I get to proclaim things. And so there is Allen Iverson Way, which is an amazing double message. It's the only honor a place in Newport News that forever people will say, hey, this is about Allen Iverson. But I love the fact that it is named Allen Iverson Way. And we can look and see when a man chases his dreams, and yes, he has some hardships along the way, and then he gets a second chance, and then he makes something amazing of it, and then he comes home and demonstrates that the Allen Iverson Way is a lot more than a street name. One of the great things I get to do as governor is I get to proclaim days. So today we get to proclaim ways and days. And I will skip all of the great stats, but let me do this formally. By virtue of the authority vested by the Commonwealth in the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, there is hereby officially recognized Allen Iverson Day. I therefore, Glenn Young and do hereby recognize March the 5th, 2024, as Allen Iverson Day in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Amen. He has come back with a hand of the Lord's voice and the Lord's love. 
make contributions and lift the young shoulder to get the next generation on the right track. And that's something for which the city council thought they needed to honor him. And they thought about it long and hard and came up with the answer. Yes. Yes. Came up with the answer. I join everybody here in congratulating him for representing our community during your legendary career and for your much deserved recognition on Allen Iverson Way. Congratulations. When we talk about instrumental leaders in AI's life, we cannot forget about James Pooh Johnson. I know many of you all in here already know who he is, but for those of you who don't, he has played an instrumental part in mentoring thousands of our youth right here on the East End in downtown Newport News. I'm not going to dim his light, I'll let him share it, but next up we are going to welcome Pooh Johnson. Yeah! Just be my friend. 
in the deep, in the deep, be there for me. Then I share with life, and I tell all my youngsters that there's some good in the worst of us, and there's some bad in the best of us. So none of us need to get around the corner and talk about the rest of us. So what I'm saying is that I've seen him go from a boy to a grown man, a family man, a hard man, and he had challenges like all of us can have challenges. But we be being challenged from the day we take our first breath to the day we take our last breath. So what we got to do is take us take an example from Chuck and just say, okay, man, you, you, you're not going to please everybody, but, and you're going to get God. <laughs> you're going to get God. Somebody gonna get you. Whether it be mama, daddy, granddaddy, son, or whatever. But when you get God, you gotta say, well, let's move on. And you gotta say, okay, let's share life. And I'm closing with the old saying that I learned from the hustlers on the street. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I got my education off the docks. I'm here. The buzzer got to eat, and the squirrel got to eat. So that's when that. That's where that slogan come up with peaceful coexistence. And that's what we need to fight for. And I think that Bubba Chuck is on the way of leading us to that. I appreciate you, Bubba. It's no secret without Pooh Johnson, we wouldn't have AI, but there's one more man sitting in here who we could thank right now for having him in the building. We all know who he is. I want us to stand up for this one. Can we please give a warm round of applause and stand to our seats, please, for Boo Williams.
to get a street named after him. But what I'm the long one, I want to see the street with good people in it. No more drugs. We don't need another black man to go to for drugs. We don't need to grow up and be good people. Lawyers, doctors, business people, be successful. Plumbers, use your hands. There's more things important. We don't need another, we don't need to build no more prisons. I like to come to an event where we don't have 50,000 police out there. And you feel comfortable going. The security. Life is short. You got to live it the way. And this man, Alan Allison, lived it. One of the greatest players and person ever coached. I'll tell you what. When I took Allen to Nashville, Tennessee, the North Carolina, you remember that, Allen? <laughs> <laughs> I took him to Nashville, Tennessee, the North Carolina, 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 the at halftime. Wow. That was one of the greatest performances I've ever seen in 43 years. We got a chance here, you got an opportunity here to see the greatest player under six feet in the world I've ever seen. Period. Well, I'd like to thank everybody. Thank Alan. Thank the city of the news. And everybody have a good day. Okay, we are halfway done through our program. I know that we all are ready for the unveiling. But last but not least, we have a piece of Philly here with us today. We have Mike Goings, who traveled all the way here from Philly, the Philadelphia 76ers Vice President. Let's all show him some Southern hospitality love. Very honored to be here 
It was a pleasure. I appreciate everybody's reception. Thank you. Instructions. Okay, so we're gonna have Ura, we're gonna have the family come on the left hand side, and then we'll have the guest on the right hand side. So let's everyone on stage come with me. <laughs> Alright, this is complicated, all right? When it's time, we're gonna go three, two, one, we're gonna go bottom and then throw it up. Okay. <laughs> but before we do that, let's make sure everyone is dead in the Sorry. We're going to count down three, two, one. But before, I want to make sure everyone is in place. So make sure everyone that you want right here. Poo and Boo, you guys want to come here? On the, right, on the left side with us. Off the streets of the Purdue's. 
The Boys and Girls Club needed a new gymnasium floor. Mr. Allen Harrison made sure they had a new gymnasium floor. Every Christmas, every holiday, he comes back to his hometown to make sure kids have Christmas. He makes sure he feeds the community. And these are efforts not just done in Uber News. He also goes over to Hampton. Just recently, he paid for the whole senior class for all of their applications to go to college. <laughs> Mr. Allison just don't do it in Uber News in Hampton, but he continued these same efforts in the Philadelphia, where his home was the seven six of his eye. And not just in Philadelphia, he continues his giving efforts. He also gives in China. So Mr. Iris is a whale giver. He loves his community, and he loves the news. I just want to thank our council for believing in me and Marcellus Harris. It was both of our vision to make this come, and it happened. So we could not do this without our support of our amazing council. I would also personally like to thank our city manager and the staff because they pulled this together in one week. <laughs> so at this time, the man of the hour, Alan Iverson. You know, I, I, 
my homeboys and my, my homegirls, you know what I mean, that I mean, a lot of y'all in here right now, y'all just don't know how y'all helped me get through a, a, a life that people seem is so easy. You know, you think when you get money and, and fame, you know what I mean, it's, 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 it's so much easier, but it's actually hard. And, you know, just y'all that always stick with me, you know, when I need somebody to talk to, when I need somebody to tell me what I need to hear and stuff, what I want to hear, um, y'all always there for me. So, I mean, like, accomplishment like this, you know, this is this y'all too. You know, y'all help do this, you know what I mean? And um, the people from Newport News, Happy Virginia, period. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, this is for y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all should feel good about this accomplishment because y'all molded me. Y'all helped me. And, and I'm so proud of, like, where I'm from. I, I just love representing Virginia. I just, I just love representing Virginia. I love who I am. If I die, you know, today and was able to come back tomorrow, I would want to come back Chuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> And, um, <laughs> and, and, you know, when, when people talk about me, it's so crazy. Because, you know, you think of New York, you think of L.A., you know what I mean? They think they got, you know, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I, I love dudes from, you know, other places in the world. You know what I mean? My man, Steve in here, I love that man so much. You know what I mean? Came down to show me love like he... Like he always do, that's my brother, you know what I mean, for life. But, um, like being from Virginia and, and me changing the culture, everybody talk about how AI changes the culture and everything. Man, that was because of you dudes in here and you women in here, you know what I mean? I ain't do nothing but bite off of y'all. You know what I mean? I dress like y'all dress and talk like y'all talk and walk like y'all walk. You know what I mean? I'm Virginia. And, you know, I, I, I want to thank y'all for just, you know, giving me that, you know what I mean? My confidence is everything, you know what I mean? It ain't cocky, it ain't arrogant. It's just being confident and believing in yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. My mom told me when I was eight years old that I could be anything I wanted to be. And I actually believed her, you know what I mean? Because she, she told me that I could be who I am today. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of times, you know, when we talk about being role models and and it's always about the kids, you know what I mean? We always talk about, you know, you, you know, you're a role model for the kids and this, that, and the third. But I mean it's for every age group, man. You can be whatever you want to be. You know what I mean? God it's gonna happen when God wants it to happen. You know what I mean? Your dream can come true when you over fifty years old. I mean it's just you know, it, it's gonna happen when, when, when he wanted to happen for you. And I'm just, you know, the, the, the only message that I'm, that I'm trying to kick is, man, dream and, 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 and fulfill it. You know what I mean? You got one shot at this thing. That, I mean, who said it? Like, I, I don't know if you can come back again. I don't know if you can get another shot at it. But I'm just saying, like, when you have the opportunity in this one lifetime, man, just, just go after it. Man, and, 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 and do and be who the hell you want to be, man. You know what I mean? Live your life and be proud of being you. Don't disrespect whatever God you have and whatever God you, you know, believe in. Don't disrespect him by wanting to be somebody else. Ain't nothing wrong with being you. You know what I mean? It's, it, and, I mean, I say it all the time. You know what I mean? Why not be you? Everybody else taking up. You know what I mean? So... I just want to thank everybody, man, for making this thing happen for me, man. It's a blessing. I'm honored. You know what I mean? Um, damn. I mean, I, I'm, I'm so, I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm so blessed to have the people, you know, my family, my friends around me that support me through my ups and my downs, and you know, encourage me to do better, and you know what I mean? Just do everything to help me live this, this, this dream life. You know what I mean? And uh, it's, it's hard, you know, waking up every day. And, you know, it's always an uproar everywhere I go. 
you know what I mean, trying to go to the grocery store by myself and do the things that regular people do, but I, I, I'm, I, I do it the Allen Iverson way, you know what I mean? And I thank y'all, and I love y'all for coming out and supporting me. Please keep supporting me. Thank you. Love y'all. Take care.